Sally and I are so glad we're, you're here. Sally, can you say hi to our friends? Yeah. Sally, are you ready for your special time today? I think she is, friends. She's excited about her treat and to hear the story for you with you. All right, let's give her her treat. Here we go, Sally. Would you like that treat? Okay, you eat it while I say hi to our friends, okay? Okay. Hi, Jen. Hi, Dom. Hi, Craig and Teresa and Ashlyn, Remy, Amber, Mac, Andy and Otta, Eli from Bend, Ellie, Sam, Nolan, Maya and Eleanor, Elliot and Emma, Becky, Bella, Eloise and Karen, Julia, Jeffrey and Joshua, Marquise and Maya, Avery, Mikey, Vesper and Thea, Brooke and Will, Lizzie and Eli, Stella, Addison, Brooklyn Ray, Harper May and Henry, Soren and Johan. How are the snacks today, boys? Ford and Fife, Flinny and Alexa, Lily and Lincoln, Landon and Adeline, Everly and Kinsley, Blossom and Larky, Brant and Reese, Michael and Milo, Ray Yu, Sophia and Maverick, Avery and Dakota, Pam and Jason, Andy, Kristen and Mindy, Terry and Judy, Millie, Sammy and Ruby, Oli, Lucy and Sebastian, Sloan and Sutton, Olivia and Peyton, Freya, London, Henry and Ellis, Boise Bear, Max and Carlota. Hi, friends. Friends, remember if I miss saying your name, make sure that your grown up knows that I know that you're watching so I can say hi to you too, okay? All right, Sally, should we start our story? Are you ready? I think she's ready, friends. Okay, today we're reading The Bernstein Bears and The Weekend at Grandma's. And this one is written by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Weekend at Grandma's. Do you have a grandma? You might, you might have a grandpa. Let's hear about theirs. Okay. Once in a while, the Bear family who lived in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in Bear Country got out the family snapshots and looked at them. Do you know what a snapshot is? It's a picture. Looks like they have theirs in an album like this. What are these? Asked Sister Bear, picking up a book of photos. I don't think we've ever seen these before. These are pictures of bears playing tennis, canoeing, dancing, and having all sorts of fun. The bears look like Mama and Papa, only they were younger and thinner. pictures of Papa and me on our honeymoon, said Mama with a smile at Grizzly Mountain Lodge, said Papa, and we had a wonderful time. What's a honeymoon? asked Brother Bear. A honeymoon is a special trip couples take when they get married, explained Mama. Getting married is a very special thing. It's celebrating, and it's celebrating it with old customs, like trips. As a matter of fact, said Papa, we've decided to go on a second honeymoon. We're going back to the same place to play tennis, go canoeing, and have fun. It'll be lovely, said Mama. A second honeymoon sounds like a pretty good idea to me, said Brother. Me too, said Sister. They scooted out of the room and they were back in a jiffy with their vacation things. Oh, you won't be coming, said Papa. Honeymoons, even second honeymoons, are just for grown-ups, not for cubs. But what's going to happen to us, said Sister? 
It just so happens, said Mama, that Gran has been after me to let you spend a week with her and Gramps. And this will be the perfect opportunity. A whole week? Friends, in this they call their grandpa and their grandma, their gran and pops. What, oh, gramps, they call them gramps. What do you call your grandpas and grandmas? In my house, my kids called my mom and dad Mimi and Papa, but that's like a grandpa and grandma. And they called my husband Andy's uh, parents, Grandma Jan and Grandpa Don. What's your name for your grandpas and grandmas? Do you have different names? All right, let's find out about this. But we've never stayed with anybody that long, said sister. Well, said Papa, taking a few practice swings with his tennis racket, there's gotta be a first time for everything. What will we do for a whole week, asked the cubs. Where will we sleep and what will we eat? Goodness, said mom, such a fuss about a simple thing like spending a week at grandma's. It didn't seem like a simple thing to the cubs. They love Gramps and Graham very much, but well, they just weren't mama and papa. Besides, Gramps and Graham were sort of old. What are you talking about? Sister asked brother when it was time to pack. I'm talking about what I'm going to take. My books, my jacks, my teddy bear, of course. These, he said, holding up some books and his best yo-yo. Papa put the suitcases in the, their suitcases in the trunk last, so when they got to Grand's, unloading was easy as one, two, three. Then, after lots of big bear hugs and kisses, the happy second honeymooners were on their way. It certainly was good to see young folks having fun, said Gran as she waved goodbye. We're the young folks, muttered the cubs. We're the ones who are supposed to be having fun. Here they are, they're waving goodbye. There goes the um, mom and papa cubs. There they are waving goodbye. Sure, you're hungry after your ride, said Gran. When they went in, how about some of my special honey nut cookies and milk? No thanks, Gran, said sister. I'm not hungry right now. These are really good, said brother. Sister, sister sneaked a taste. They were good, but well, they just weren't mamas. Do you think maybe she wasn't hungry because she was feeling a little bit sad? Sometimes it's really hard to say goodbye and we might feel a little bit sad. And it's okay to have those feelings. It's okay to be sad. Let's find out what happens. Now let's get you up to your rooms so you can get settled in, said Gramps. The cubs reached for their bags, but before you could say Grizzly Gramps, they were gathered up bags and all and carried up the stairs. Gramps certainly was strong for someone so old. The room at the top of the stairs was very nice, very nice indeed, but well, it wasn't home. Here they have their two beds right there, friends, and this sign says, welcome. Gramps and sister, where do you, Gramps said sister, where do you suppose mama and papa are right now? Well, said Gramps, I reckon they're still on the road, just pulling into the site of the Grizzly Mountain Lodge. After they unpacked their things, Gramps thought the cubs might like to explore around the house. Friends, do you see these little dots right here? This is what the bears are thinking. They're imagining this. They're imagining their mom and papa bear pulling into the lodge. While it wasn't home, it was interesting. 
There were all sorts of things crowded in the attic. Grand's kitchen was yummy, taste and smells. And Grandpa's den, Grandpa knew how to build a ship in a bottle. When the cubs asked him how it was done, he just smiled. mom and papa are doing right now they asked i reckon they've gotten into their into their tennis clothes and are swinging and swatting back and forth he said over the next few days brother and sister found lots of things to do they helped grand feed the birds friends there were more kinds than they'd ever seen in one place and grand knew all the names they helped gramps cut smooth twigs for a new ship in the bottle it turned out he didn't, he built them outside of the bottle and then slid them in. It was pretty tricky. Here they are, remember? Do you remember what these dots are? Yep, they're thinking, they're imagining what their moms and dads are doing. And here they are feeding the birds with Gran. Look at all the different birds. There's red and yellow and blue. And here they are, they're building the ship with their gramps. doing lots of fun things with their grandparents. They went fishing in a special place that Gramps knew about. Well, said Gramps, as they returned with a fine catch, I reckon that your mama and papa are out canoeing right now. I certainly hope they're having fun, said sister, because we sure are. Hmm, better get these chairs in, said Gramps, after the fine fish fry. It's going to rain tomorrow. How do you know? Asked Brother Bear. I can feel it in my bones, answered Gramps. It turned out Gramps was right. Good, said Brother. We'll be able to relax a little bit. Sister got out her jacks and started to play with the yo-yo. Used to be pretty good with one of those myself, said Gramps. Was he ever? Not only could Gramps make the yo-yo sleep and walk the dog, he could even do the baby in the cradle and the round the world. That evening, after a refreshing nap, they all went to Gramps and Graham's regular Friday night square dance. Gramps and Graham didn't just watch, they do -si do with the best of them. They even won the prize for the friskiest couple. Goodness, said sister in the morning. This week has really flown by and we've learned so much, added brother, practicing the baby in the cradle. Gramps and Graham, how come you know so much, said sister. So many things. Why, you can even feel the weather in your bones. That's one of the good things about being an older person, said Gramps, smiling. You can learn something new every day. So by the time you're old enough to be a grandparent, you know quite a lot. Gee, said sister, I guess you and Gran are so old, you must know everything. Oh no, said Gramps laughing. You never stop learning. Why, just this week, we learned something very special. We learned how absolutely wonderful it is to be grandparents and have lovely grand cubs. Then Gramps and Gran swept their grand cubs into a big bear hug. The next thing they knew, a familiar beep beep was heard. It was Papa tooting the horn. He and Mama were back from their second honeymoon and it was time for the cubs to go home. After saying goodbye and the thank yous, the bear family piled into the car and headed home. 
No sooner were they on their way than brother and sister were bubbling over the fun and excitement they'd had at, for the week at Grand's. Well, said Papa, sounds like you had a pretty good time. Oh, we did, said sister. Papa, sometime you might want to go for a third honeymoon. Then we could spend another week at Grandma's. A third honeymoon, said Papa. I don't think anyone's ever gone on a third honeymoon. Well, said sister, there has to be a first time for everything. And that's the end, friends. Here on the back are a lot more books that the, about the Bernstein Bears. Maybe another day we'll read another one, okay? All right, friends, here's what I want you to think about doing today. These bear cubs got to go visit their grandpas and grandmas. And right now, not a lot of us are getting to visit our people that we love because they, they have asked us to stay at home right now because there's a lot of bad germs out there. So if you're not getting to see your grandparents or maybe your aunts and uncles, whoever your special people are, I want you to think about a way that you can see them or send something to them. Maybe you could get out some crayons and paper and you could draw them a picture and maybe your grown up at home could help you write some words on it. Or maybe you have a phone or an iPad that you could FaceTime them and you could tell them how much you love them and how much you miss them. Someday soon, we're gonna get to have visits again with the people we love, but right now we have to find other ways to show them we love them. So what can you do to show somebody that you're not getting to see right now that you love them? I can't wait to hear what you've been doing. All right, Sally, are you ready to say goodbye? You ready to say goodbye to our friends? Yeah, you are? All right, Sally's saying goodbye, friends. Say, see you later.